So it's Thursday evening. This is what I'm working with right now. Um, guy now gave me these heads there. You'll see that good old 706s that everybody thinks are the greatest things since sliced bread. They work, yes, but uh, they're also prone to crack. Supposedly these have been rebuilt. I don't, not sure why he didn't use them. I think he was worried that. They might be the ones prone to crack now. One of them does have that battery symbol on it. And this one does not. You can see they've been sitting, retainers and everything have got surface rust on them. But <clears throat> what the task at hand is, I'm going to break these down to bare cylinder heads and... Um, Take them over to the local machine shop, have Magnaflux, check pressure tested, check for cracks. If they do pan out and end up being a good set of heads, I um, don't know how many people are familiar with K-Tech. They offer a $499 CNC port job. No valve job, no assembly work. Uh, heads have to be clean and disassembled and all that. I think we're going to give that a try. Actually, I think I'm going to have the machine shop mill these 20, 30 thousandths as well if they check out good. Um, I put a LQ4 and 4L80E in my dad's regular cab shortbed Sierra. Um, he drove my truck a few times, and to him, it was way more power than the stock 5.3 in his truck, and he wanted a cam 6 liter after driving mine, so he was convinced that's what he needed. Um, I'm sure he's rethinking that now at the price of gas, but at any rate, um, like any old hot rodder, he is like me, he wants more power. He's used to the power. Uh, I think I swapped that four or five years ago, so um, we're going to CNC port these on a budget here. I'll do a hand lap valve job on them. We'll cut them a little bit and we'll throw them on and see what it does. Um, obviously bump and compression and the port work, it should wake up over the 317s, but uh, I'd like to see a real world A to B comparison where all we literally change is the cylinder heads and nothing else and just a retune obviously. So um, stay tuned for that. Good or bad, I will 